All right, we're at it again out here. At the tail end of December, and uh, it's still deer season. I'm wearing the orange hat, just in case. Again, I'm on private property, and it's posted against hunting, but as we've discovered from previous videos, people don't always know how to read signs, I guess. So we're at a site now that um, I don't know a whole lot about. It's got a field stone foundation, uh, but I can see some rusted old cans on the surface, so it's hard to tell exactly how old it is. You know, they used these field stone foundations as soon as people got here, all the way up until the 1900s, 17 to 1900s. So you never really know. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. Um, we've had a bunch of snow, and it's gone at the moment. It's supposed to get up into the uh, 40s or maybe even the 50s today, which is a nice change from what it has been. So we have a lot of property to swing around here. I assume there's traffic everywhere. So let's get the gear unpacked and see what we can find. Alright, well, uh, not ashamed to say that it's been a couple hours, let me actually look, yeah, it's been uh, an, hour, well, an hour and a half, and I haven't found anything worth showing. Um, I found a couple of aluminum pipes, which leads me to believe that this area is not that old. Finally just got a good target. It's incredibly deep. I didn't even pull the camera out because it was so quiet, a lot of times iron will do that. Flip the plug. It's still a good sounding target, so we're gonna we're gonna film it and hope for hope for the best. 84 still. Really deep. 85. I think it's out. Oh yeah. Still sounds good. Round, whatever it is. Nice. Is that a copper? Or is that a button? Jeez, I don't know. Let's get a closer look at it here. It seems to be quite a bit smaller than your run of the mill large set. And it's light. Leads me to believe that it's um, maybe not the same material that large sensor made out of. All right, let me get the toothbrush out and see what we can fight, figure out about this. All right, we got it. Maybe you can see that without the flashlight. That is a it's a ship. There's a date down here. It says 1841, and the back, I believe it says not up here. Can't really make it out, but it says one cent for tribute. So this is a hard times token. Other metal detectorists out there may recognize the name um, Scoville, the button guys. They made a bunch of hard times tokens. Um, I imagine some of the other button manufacturers also did because they were set up to make stuff out of brass. But um, this one, I've actually found another one of these that was in way better condition and uh, you could read the top much better. Um, but this is, this is an exciting find. You know, it's always exciting to find a large sand or even a, a colonial copper, but one of these things, it actually has a little bit of a story behind it, um, which I think is, is extra interesting. So, even though it's an hour and a half after I got here, this makes up for it. Awesome. Let's see if we can find something else. Alright, well I might be in a little hot spot right here. Coin is right over there, and uh, this, I've called in the past a saddle shield, um, and it very well could have been a part of a saddle. But I am now convinced that these um, more likely just the end of a leather strap. When you have a leather strap that gets a lot of work and you're constantly putting in and out of, um, you know, like buckles and things, the end of it gets all messed up. So they would stick these on the end of the leather strap, make them last longer. So that's pretty cool. There's no uh, designs or anything. Sometimes there was. Not this time. Pretty cool. All right, I'm in the trail. You can see somebody was actually doing some work, sawing up a, a tree uh, fairly recently. 
right next to it. Just got the nicest, smoothest 82. Um, it wouldn't surprise me at all if that was a recent drop of something like a dime or a quarter. But uh, we'll see. It's in the clump. Oh no, it's this. <sighs> Piece of dirt bike. I find these things constantly. I don't know how people keep those things together. It's just stuff constantly falling off of them. Uh, it is a brake or a, probably a brake. It must have wiped out and busted it off. <laughs> oh well. I was just uh, sitting down having a snack. And off on the ridge I heard pa 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 um, so either somebody has an AR out there hunting deer, just kidding, they're running deer, there's probably a bunch of hunters out there, and they all shot off a bunch of rounds, ideas that all the deer are not going to be running towards me, uh, there's probably hunters in between me and them, to see if they can uh, catch the deer running through, uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open, likely if they run past the hunters in between, We'll have some uh, some excitement, but we'll see. <laughs> Pretty deep high tone here. E seventy eight eighty one. See, that sounds better. Eighty five, nice and smooth. All right, heart starting to beat. A little exciting here. Oh, you see the edge of something? Nice, it's another copper. Uh, <laughs> awesome, this day has turned around. All right, let's see if we can identify it. All right, can we tell what that is? Ooh, looks like a large scent. Nice. Ooh, looks like. Once we get it cleaned up, we'll probably get a date off the bottom there. Oh yes. Look how nice that side looks. One cent. Awesome. Let's see if I can get the date off this quick. No, nope, well I can't tell out here. I'm confident that I'll be able to clean it up enough to be able to tell at home, so. Beautiful. Two copper so far today. Uh, you know, I was so excited to find that last copper, the token, that I forgot to mention, last year I found 36 coppers, including half cents and tokens. And uh, this year, when I woke up this morning, I had 36 coppers for this year. And uh, we're at 38 now, so I beat, <laughs> I beat last year's total, uh, which I was hoping to do at least by one. But now we've done it by two. Year's not over yet. Maybe we can break 40. I don't want to make a goal like that, but if we made 40, that'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, we're gonna search around this this area a little bit more and see if uh, maybe they drop more than one. Check this out. It's a little uh, gold-plated keyhole cover. Well, not a cover. <laughs> keyhole discussion. That's pretty sweet. It's very uh, delicate. Um, I feel like I could just probably break this right in half, um, which leads me to believe it probably wasn't on a front door. Maybe it was on a cabinet or a small box or something. Pretty cool. Alright, well I just found something, and uh, I don't know what it is. It was not a very high tone. I thought for sure it was going to be a shotgun shell. What do you think? Oh, it's suspenders. <laughs> it's a suspender clip. Let's see if we can get it cleaned off without breaking it. Nice. You know, I can say that I've uh, never found one like that before. I wonder if it's got name brand or something on there. Ooh, I can already feel it crumbling in my hands. I'm not even going to attempt to clean it up out here. Wait till we do that at home. That's cool. It almost looks like a shoe buckle, but uh, it's clearly not. It's just a little spender clip. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, see if we can find some more stuff. All right, a few videos ago, I uh, found a little 
iron container, um, which I then broke open with my shovel. And I got a lot of people upset about it because they were very convinced that it was a snuff can. I don't happen to believe that's what it was, but um, a lot of people did and, and thought I probably should have brought it home and preserved it somehow. Anyway, I found something else. <laughs> It's a little container, and uh, I'm going to bust it open with my shovel. We'll see what's inside. Probably nothing. I'm going to go find a rock to do it on. All right, here it is. It's much smaller than the last one, but there's actually a seam on this one. Um, my guess is that was probably some kind of bomb, like a lip balm. Um, let's see if we can get that open. Right. Looks like it was sealed pretty good. Water's in there. What do you think? I will admit, when that thing first busted open, I thought for sure that was a silver coin. <laughs> it's not. It's uh, it's still whatever that bomb was. Let's see, uh, let me poke it with a stick here. All right. Ugh! Look at that. This is. Uh, more than likely a medicine of some kind, I would guess. Probably over a hundred years old. <laughs> Whatever it was, it's still, you know, a paste. Should I put it on my lips? What do you think? Yeah. Just kidding. Alright, this is, uh, pretty gross. <laughs> put the lid back on and, uh, put it in my garbage bag. All right, well, I just found something here that I would normally consider garbage. Um, not exactly sure what it is, but I saw that there was threads on it. The reason I'm going to do some more research is because there's actually writing on there. It definitely says a name brand and co up top. It says Lowell Mass on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. I can do some research on that and uh, figure out what it's part of. Again, my... Um, best guess is that it was maybe a, a lamp or something like that. There was probably a wick that went up through the, the middle there, but we'll see. It's pretty cool. Figure out what it is. All right, well, I was just detecting on through, and I came to a hole that I had previously dug, um, and I rechecked it, and there's a small scent in there, um, and I think it's a fat Indian. So before we look at the coin... I'm trying to remember what it was that was in this hole <laughs> along with this. Maybe it was another one of those coins. I don't think so. I don't know. It was with something that I previously dug. Maybe I don't remember giving up on any holes today, so it was in the hole with something. I don't know. Well, let's look at this coin anyway. And that's what it is, an Indian headset. It's in pretty good shape. Get my uh, toothbrush. Looks like 1863. I don't know if you can see that or not. Early 1860s. It had just switched over from the large scent to these guys. Um, and they're quite a bit thicker than the later Indian head scents. That's pretty cool. I think this is the... It's not very good condition, but I think it's the best condition uh, fat Indian that I found. They don't hold up too well in the soil. So... Happy with that for sure. Awesome. Jeez, I guess I better uh, check my holes a little bit better from now on. <laughs> All right, we're calling it a day. Uh, got off to a slow start today. Hour and a half with nothing, but it turned out all right. I broke last year's copper record, which I'm pretty excited about. I think there might be a few more hunts left in this year, so. We'll see, maybe we can boost it up a little bit more. Um, three coins today. All right, we got our large scent, we got our Indian head scent, and we've got our hard times token. Leather strap end, our little key escutcheon, suspenders clip. I did find one little square nail that is like perfect. Um, and I always, I always bring these home when they're not rusty at all, you know, and they're still in good shape. Um, I did get two, well, one whole harmonica reed, 
and then two pieces of the other side of it. Harmonicas had these things inside of them. There's two, well, for one when you breathe in, one when you breathe out, and there was wood keeping it all together, and that's why you only find the reeds. I have found them in the past, and there actually is wood still in them, um, but more than likely we only find the, the reeds. Got just a slim amount of buttons today, two buttons. One, is, one of them is iron, and one of them is brass, and then I got my piece of dirt bike. Um, and then finally our mystery piece with writing on it, so we can do a little research. So uh, hunting season has almost come to a close in Vermont. And you know, uh, it's not lost on me that a hunter will start in early spring and they'll go out and they'll hang their trail cams and they'll check them religiously every week. And then finally they'll see the giant buck that they've been dreaming about their whole life. They'll count down the days until hunting season. And finally we'll have a beautiful day like today. They'll wake up 4 a.m., come out here, climb the tree stand, cover themselves in, in deer scent. You know, they've got their thousands of dollars worth of... Uh, hunting gear on and they wait all morning and then finally when they think the massive buck is coming out out comes beeping Brad with a metal detector and ruins their whole year I understand that um, as a hunter I get that um, and with, that's why I'm in a place where there aren't supposed to be any hunters right now I don't want to ruin anybody's year so anyway that being said I, I got a few comments last time about people you know being in the woods during hunting season and uh, try not to ruin anybody's anybody's day. So anyway, um, hunting season is almost over with, so I don't have to worry about that very much longer. Short hunt today, but uh, I had fun. I hope you did too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.